Um, I think, uh, you know, it, this was lovely to get you to talk about these two topics. Um, a couple of words about ELT chat, if you, if you wouldn't mind uh, commenting on. I know you don't take part in our ELT chats. Um, I, I, it's only because um, the only reason I don't. But you are a, a very, very keen Twitter user. I'm not very. I'm not very good at, um, at at the stream. You know the chat streams that happen anywhere in the world. You know, I mean, like sporting. I used to go to sports chat rooms to talk about football, but I thought, hang on, I, my, you know, the one I wanted to reply to has gone back about nineteen. You know, yeah, uh, lines up. Is, is that kind of stream thing? Um, no, I think it's a terrific idea. I, I, I think that, uh, as I always say in my talks, Twitter is a fantastic forum in so many different ways for the English language teaching community, probably for doctors and architects as well. I just don't know. I mean, I think that, but as far as I can see from the people that I know, English teachers are the ones who have made the most of the opportunities and the connections that Twitter offers to each other. You know, it's just brilliant. It's wonderful. Well, can we hope that we might have you as a guest? One day okay. they're in a chat, and, and we can get people to fire questions at you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, that would be great, actually. I well, like thank you very much. This was oh, Ken yeah. Wilson. Yeah. All the way from uh, the UK, but not in his garden shed. Right in his shed. Book, no, you can see shed. the shed if you want. It's out there. Oh, you see? This is the it, famous it, shed that you can see across from a... Yeah. Uh, Ken Wilson's window, and uh, very, very, uh, quite a few Twitter friends have take, had their photograph taken in there in various <laughs> stages of uh, <laughs> array or disarray, I would say. Well, thank you very much. I'm Marisa Constantinidis, and uh, I wish you a pleasant evening.